everything can be a lie, especially the stories we tell ourselves. For instance, I heard about this guy who was failing out of high school. He was struggling. He was being raised by a single mom. His dad was never around. He was causing trouble, but he promised his mother he would take the SATs. Well, this guy takes the SATs, but remember, he's failing out of school. He's not going to class. He's acting up in school. He's causing a lot of trouble. And he certainly doesn't expect anything from taking the SATs. Well, he takes the SATs. And to his surprise, he gets a 1480 out of a 1600. So he's stunned. And his mother asked him, did you cheat? And he said, I swear, I tried to cheat, but the way the numbers were in the bubbles and there was people around, he couldn't cheat. So he decides to himself, he realizes to, he realizes he's smart. He's going into his senior year and he says to himself, I'm going to go to class and I'm going to try harder. Because of that, he graduates from high school. Then he goes to college. He gets into a pretty good college and becomes a successful magazine entrepreneur. Four years after all this guy's success, he gets a letter in the mail. The year he took the test, he was one of 13 people sent the wrong decision, the wrong SAT score. His actual score was 740 out of 1600. And he said, people think my whole life changed when I got a 1480. But what happened was my whole life changed when I started acting like I was a 1480. So, and let this sink in. The bottom line is what I do, not how I feel about my past, is going to determine who I am in the future.